Our students, welcome back to the drawing table. I have a bunch of stuff in my hand. That's why I could not do the two hands like I used to do. Welcome back to the drawing table. So today we're going to continue in doing the um, action pose. I don't know what I'm calling these things. This is action pose, quick, straight to the point, without me deviating and making my videos 45 minutes long, 50 minutes long. So um, as you know, for me, the body is a piece. You know, the head is a piece, the shoulders are a piece, each part of the arms is a piece. So if you put your, um, you draw your characters in pieces instead of trying to draw it as a whole, then it comes out a little better. You just have to know the pieces. So if you have been with me for a minute, you'll know what I'm drawing as I draw it. So I'm a little out of breath. I don't know why. Stuffy this morning. Um, let's do this pose and hopefully I'm going to try to the quicker I draw, the looser it becomes. If I stop and talk as I draw, then it gets a little stiff. So let me see what I can do here. So I'll try to narrate as I go along. Maybe I should just narrate later, but I, I don't know. I, I like to do it live. Here we go. Shoulders oval. So I'm going to tilt them a little bit. And then that's the top of his shoulder because I'm going to put his head right here. Usually I don't do the head right off the bat, unless I lean the character so I'll know where, where the head is going to go. So this is going to be the waist right here, or, or the, the bottom of the chest and the waist right here. This is going to be your um, the upside down house, because this guy is, he's leaning, he's walking towards you. So I'm going to do this, so notice how everything is over on this side. This is like one line, everything's over on this side. So from here, I'm gonna put this leg, which is just that oval. And then I'm gonna put this, the other part of that leg, which is that cone. And then do this calf, the cone. And then it's gonna be at the foot right here. The foot is down, the foot is like half a triangle. And all this is subject to change because as I say I want to I want to get the get the form first. I want to get that form down first. And this other one is going to be back. So she's leaning down. Half a circle right here, and then its foot is going to be here and this is a quick this is really quick so as I said I might, uh, I might adjust it change it have to the quicker I draw the more looser it becomes though as I say so we're going to have the center line right here and curve around so this is going to be like the bottom of his chest now so this is going to be the the uh, collarbone right here so we have this chest and I'm going to because this is going to be behind him this is going to be the delt and always make it like one piece if you can. And then I'm going to have this because the delt, the shoulder is shaped like this and the delt goes around it like this, depending on how much the person is leaning. So I'm gonna put this hand here, arm here, which is just a uh, oval. Either you can do the oval or the cylinder. We're going to put this the circle. So this is going to be like the cone, it's, but it's going to come here, but it's going to it's going to get chopped off. So basically, it's going to be a cone like that. It's going to get chopped off. Hopefully, you can see this open. I'm, I'm keeping it um, keeping it on camera. And there's my hand right there. It's just going to be this flat shape. And then I put the fingers in later. So this arm is going to go back. So you're just going to see some bicep and then that uh, cone again. Chop it off where you want the wrist. So the wrist is going to go back. So I'm going to make that curve. Or the hand is going to go back. So I'm going to make that curve. I want that hand to be too big because it is going backwards. So... Actually, I'm going to drop that leg a little bit more. And I'm going to bring his head or fix his head a little bit more. Make it a little bigger. 
So this is going to come around like this. This is the shoulder right into the chest. Like that. So you're going to get the rib cage right here. We're going to show that. So a little bit of waist. And then that hip. So we're going to get this. this first set of abs. Maybe this little on the second. And then you won't see anything else. I'm going to make that waist. Keep, I keep, I'm keeping it over to this side. So I'm going to bring this in. Like that. Again, here's that. Here's the, the delt. It goes into that. Delt goes into that. This comes along. Bring this in a little bit. And so I'm going to bring that out and bring this in. This is not hard to erase because I don't have a lot of detail in line and I, and I say don't don't start out by trying to draw every muscle right off the bat. Get your form first. So I'm bringing it in to give it like a little more of a speedy run. I'm bringing this out. <clears throat> And bringing this down. I think I should bring this in more. I don't want it to be out. Let me let me do this, and then see what I have. I'll finish it through, and then see what I have. Yeah, half a circle for here. So here is the thigh. This is the calf, which is half a circle, and this is the foot, the part that you see. Turn it upside down. Uh, it's almost like he's skipping. So let me bring this in. And I might bring that out. down and bring this up because this is going back so it sh probably should not be that high bring that in too it's all about this side the side Shorter. Shorter and narrower. This should be thicker. This should be narrower because it's it's going in backwards, as I say. So let's narrow this and shorten it. Make this thicker. Let's, let's do this back leg first. So I'm going to just half a circle, which represents the calf, and then the foot. And then this, I could put this in more. Which, yeah, I like that. So let's give this a little more shape to it. And then the foot is going to be here. It's going to be straight down because that weight is going to be on that foot. Like that, not too shabby. So we got the chest. Let's define this a little bit more. I should, did, should do this in blue. <clears throat> it's gonna be because it's pulling. It's going back. It's pulling. 
this is going to go down and then it's going to be right up under the delt i don't know why i'm not putting my chest up under the delts where they actually go so that's going to be your serratus serratus muscles this is going to be where your ribs go and the other under part is your stomach and you don't have to do every ab muscle I'm just going to do it and kind of suck it up under here. So it's just going to go like that. And as I said, you won't, you won't, you won't really see it because it's leaning forward. So from this one, I'm going to bring this waist in a little bit. And then that. All right. So, looking in the monitor, this is too long. As I say, if I talk and I draw, I slow down and I get stiff. <sighs> That's right. Let's bring this over a little bit more. Up, down, and over. Without having so much crotch. And the knee. This is going to be under. And then... That because it's going back. Much better. I still want this thigh to be thicker. So go back into that leg and then that. Now I left the hand like that because um, I'm going to put a weapon in it. You don't have to. It can be a fist. You just bring the, make that triangle and you have a fist. This hand is not going to have a weapon. It's just going to be open. So I did this. Let me show you what I did with this. This is just all I did with that. It's kind of like almost make a um, triangle. If I kept going back, it would be a triangle. So then I will figure out where I want to put my fingers. Let's say put one here, and I'll just do the stick stick fingers for the, for the time being. Like that. And if I like it, then I will make little squares or cylinders from it. Squares. Cylinders or rectangles from it. keeping them together and if I have too much um, palm then I will erase some of that palm like that and then I have my hand down up bicep with my delts right here That hand could be a little bigger. I could place it a little more forward, which I will do. So this is going to come open. It's going to open more like that. And then I'm going to redo that hand to be a little bigger. So basically, I'm just going back like this. The hand a little bigger. So... So if you can imagine this being flat like this, this being a little flat like that, and you put your fingers in that flat. 
however you choose to put your fingers. And since I've got so much red going on, I will switch to blue. In those holes. However you want to put your hands. Now, your hands tell a lot of the story. If you have a clenched fist, you know there's something, something going on. If you just have your hands, um, your fingers just open, it's not that, you know, big a deal of, of, you know, what's going on. Keep this in a, um, that line like that. Because your fingers go that way. I mean, I could do some more dynamic fingers, a more dynamic finger pose, but I'm just trying to time-wise... So yeah, your fingers always tell you the, the amount of tension a person is going through. So if you have trouble figuring out, just do your do your own hands. So your knuckles are going to be right here. Palm is going to be right here, and then it's going to be there. So I made it a little bigger so to make that a little closer. This looks good. All right. So at this point, I'm going to walk away. Come back, ankles, your inner ankles are higher than your lower ankles. A lot of times I'll just do something like this. That little curve right there. And if I want to make it flat, I'll just do that. But if I don't want to make it flat, I'll give it a little bit of an angle to it, a little bit of a point to it. So your center line is going to be like right in here for that. Center line is going to be like right there. Yeah, make the foot a little smaller to show that it's way behind. Take this, make that smaller too. This arm should, this hand should be smaller, a little smaller, as long uh, along with the arm. Because it's going back like this, and now I'm teaching. <laughs> That's too long. <clears throat> it's going back at an angle, so it shouldn't be that long. And then the hand again. Small hand, Brian, small hand. So if you want to if you want to put something in a hand, you want to curve it around like this and then put the thumb like that, a little bit of palm, thumb, whatever it is, going to come out that hand depending on um, the angle that you want. So I can put it this way. The fingers are going to wrap around it. Forget that palm. All right. Other than that arm, I'm not happy with. I'm happy with the rest of it. So I'm going to walk away. I can see that arm right now. So I'm going to fix that in the speed uh, motion. Uh, this will go right into the chest. This goes in there. You, you you have your traps go up in here and it go behind your neck. Your neck comes down here into that V. Chest, the stomach. This and this. So, all right. So, I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to walk away and come back in a minute, look at it, and see what I don't like, and then go from there. All right. All right. So, I'm back now. I looked at this for about 10 minutes, give or take. I just kind of stared at it and turned it around. Uh, there's a couple things I'm not happy about. I'm going to bring this shoulder in. Um, I'm going to give him a knife because I, you know, it's all right for the open hand, but. Since he's got something here, I want to have something there, too. So we're going to continue with our two-weapon in hands theme. But you can see all you have to do is leave the hand open, or you can make a fist, whichever you choose to do. Same with this. You can make a fist or leave the hand open for a knife, or just have the hand open 
period. So I'm going to do this in blue fast motion so I won't waste any more time. So let's go. All right, so here we are with the finished product, per se. I mean, they're, they're, if I, the longer I look at it, I'm going to keep saying this, the longer I look at it, the more that I can find something that I want to change. But this is good enough for this video for, for you guys to have followed along. If anything, I would give more um, um, to the head. I would add, you know, give it a little more tilt. I tilted it over a little bit more. Um, I brought this back because... I had to do this curve to show that it was going back the way I had it. It was kind of going forward. Uh, of course, you said put the knife in the hand and made that smaller and brought that back. Um, brought that waist in. And yeah, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be coming around like this and in like that. So I'm deviating. Deviating. Don't want to do that. So this is going to be it for this video. Uh, if you like to leave me some comments, if you want to learn something uh, more or you want questions about it or whatever, leave me comments. I'll do a video on that, that, that those things eventually. Um, and that's going to be it. So, yeah, stay tuned for another uh, action pose drawing. And I will see you guys later. I need to start adding some kind of level, eye level, show you where your eye level is. But that's on you how you draw it. All right, so anyway, deviating. I'll see you guys in the next video. Never give up your dream.